let's have some fun with this case. Uh, you don't have to know the title of it because you can already see that this is the world's classical textbook normal colon. You can see the mucosa here. You could see a Peyer's patch or lymphoid follicle uh, within the mucosa. You could see a loose connective tissue and nice uh, big vessels of the submucosa. You can see the muscular layer and then you could see that there is perhaps some hyperemia or some nicely dilated vessels out here in the uh, serosa. Let's follow this colon down the road. Here you could see some more normal colon here. But look, all of a sudden you lose uh, appreciation for the appearance of the mucosa. It is no longer nicely arranged in terms of glands and lamina propria and muscularis mucosa. It seems to be basically uh, fuzzy and gone. You don't see cellular detail uh, very nicely. You don't see the uh, muscularis mucosa very nicely. You can see infiltrates of inflammatory cells extending into the submucosa and similarly even in the muscular layer as well as the serosa here you can see a continuation of these inflammatory cells. But the main histologic feature you see throughout this colon are these large dilated blood vessels in the submucosa, in the muscle layer, as well as in the serosa. This is the classical appearance of a hemorrhagic infarct of the colon. In some organs, like lung classically, infarcts could be very, very hemorrhagic. In some organs, like kidneys, for example, infarcts could be very anemic or non-hemorrhagic looking, depending on the way the arteries are basically arranged. In the colon, as you could see, the pattern of infarction would be hemorrhagic. You can understand that from the fact that all the layers of the colon have these large dilated blood vessels, this would be a hemorrhagic infarct. You can also appreciate the fact that because of the infiltrate of all these inflammatory cells, uh, probably chiefly neutrophils, but uh, certainly uh, I'm sure we could find some lymphocytes, that the overall integrity and strength of the colonic wall would be uh, compromised and therefore infarcted colons are at risk for perforating, aren't they? Here is your classic hemorrhagic infarct of the colon compared to a relatively normal colon here. Thank you very much.